What it is, what it ain't. You already know it's Top Cat 100 going hard in the paint the real field TV, which you tuned into. Let's go ahead on and get that out the way. Salute to the whole 100 mile. We're doing what we want to do and saying what we want to say. To all my haters, when your mother go picks your brother up from school, she makes the office smell like rib tips. So the kids named the slab back. And your father resembles a Pomeranian in the face. That's how I'm getting it in. Now go in the corner and listen to Christopher Reed albums. That's how we getting it in. And while you're at it, go in the other corner and listen to Peter Gunn's albums. That's how we rock it. Now, we want to speak up on this whole Boosie situation and Mike Tyson. A lot of people want to know my analogy on the whole situation. So here we go. Now, if y'all know anything about Mike Tyson, y'all know that he, I call him like a person who likes to try to tip you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like a tipper. You see what I'm saying? He likes to test people with a certain reputation. And you always know that Mike Tyson loves confrontation, and Mike Tyson is not all the way there. No matter how many times you niggas like to say he turned up the leaf, that's what I said. I said what I said. Now, Boosie tried to be as calm as he can, you see what I'm saying, because he knew something off about Mike Tyson, so, you know, anybody else wouldn't have got that pass, but he did stand on what he said, and he didn't back down, so y'all gotta salute Boosie for that, it wasn't like he was scared, he was just lost in the dark, like, why are you coming at me like this, where the hell this come from, bro, like, we, we smoking, we chilling, you blowing my hat, that's basically what I got from it, and Mo3 sitting up there spaced out, like, man, this nigga Mike Tyson done probably popped the molly before we even came up in here. I'm ready to go back to Dallas. So I'm looking at Mo3, look at Mike Tyson, and watch Mike Tyson look at Boosie while Boosie looking at Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson looking at Mo3 and Mo3 looking at Boosie. And I'm looking at the screen and I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's something going on right here, brother. And what I'm saying by that is Mike Tyson was acting a little bit weird, man. You know what I'm saying? Booty bandit type now, for real talk now. You got to look at it like that because here's what I'm saying. Now, it's the way you go about stuff. Now, I'm glad that Boosie sat here and said that, you know what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying and on this is what it is. Like, you know, ain't nobody going to... And, here, and let me get another thing clear. Nobody sent Mike Tyson to ask Boosie anything. You see what I'm saying? He's a tipster. This is the type of stuff that he do. If you look at any other lives that he did with anybody else, if he's not a fan of you and don't all the way... You know what I mean? Know about you and respect your craft. Not to say he didn't respect Boosie, but if he really was already a fan of you, he treats you a whole different way when questioning. Now, when you look at this whole, you know, interview and all his lives, and you got to put two and two together. He, he did the same thing to other people that people wanted to know the big questions about. Now, where he was coming from, he threw that in there. Now, somebody must have had to tell him, did, you know, do that. And I'm saying that if it didn't come from his own heart to say that he think that he's one because he's speaking on one. That was just somebody to try to test somebody's street or because it's a lot of things that people like Mike Tyson that did the same things as Boosie did. Not as far as like, you know what I'm talking about as far as getting people gone. Now what I'm saying I'm talking about Mike Tyson was clapping flamers and robbing people and running with people like you know, the same person who hit up 50 Cent, which is homo, you know what I'm saying, which was his body. That was his childhood friend. Like, he grew up with these type of people, so he grew up with hitters now. Mike Tyson ain't no peanut butter and jelly ass nigga, but Boosie not no oatmeal type nigga neither. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you look at the Javante Davis and you look at the Mike Tyson um laugh, he tried to do the same thing to Javante Davis a little bit, but Javante Davis was looking him in the eye and he was standing firm and he was letting people People know why the Lomachenko rumble didn't happen. You see what I'm saying? And Lomachenko ended up getting, you know what I mean, beat up a little while ago, a couple weeks ago, a week ago or something, if y'all ain't see that. You know what I'm saying? On some Fugazi type stuff by Lopez, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson basically left Boosie out there in the woodworks. Like, I don't know what's going on. He really offended Boosie because Boosie know that he tried to come at him on some sly stuff, but he still respected Mike Tyson. Now, what I would have did if I were Boosie, because he said that he was also interviewed after that, and he also just kept on bringing up about single black mothers and the household by themselves raising, you know, a black family by themselves. And, you know, he was, you know, basically trying to, you know, talk about, you know, LGBT. See, 
Boosie stands on what he gonna say, man. And I don't know why people still mad and offended about, you know what I'm saying, him speaking out. If you don't like the fact that he speak out, why are you speaking to him about what he spoke out about? You see what I'm saying? If you feel the same way he feel because Mike Tyson said that he felt the same way he felt. But it seemed like if somebody didn't tell him to do that, it was kind of already personal. Like he probably heard all of this stuff about Boosie being this and being that. And you know other people that was all also hit us back in the day and that's about that life such as Mike Tyson they get jealous of another street person or sometimes how I feel you see what I'm saying so he tried to test that a little bit and see if he could push some buttons but Boosie handled it on some grown man stuff and stayed calm we all know if he really wanted to get Tyson flipped you know what I'm saying then guess what he'd be flipped man you know what I'm saying y'all keep talking about like Boosie was scared of something that man won't scared you see what I'm saying he was just trading light because because we all know Mike ain't right. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, I feel like for him to jump in front of the weight of the Dwayne Wade situation and all of that, man, that right there to me is kind of corny, bro, for anybody jumping in that way. Y'all stop being sensitive because people have opinions about other groups of people. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? They done been saying crazy stuff to us all our life, bro, man. They done did everything else in the book to us and don't nobody care about it and don't nobody care that same energy when they talk about you know what i mean blacks and you know all the stuff we went through they say we complaining too much let it go forget about it all this and all that but as soon as you say something about a certain other community everybody get this you know don't say that and jump in the offenses like they ain't grown or some shit up Nobody want to hear all that, nigga. He said what he said, nigga. Yay. Know what I'm saying? That's just real talk, man. Because I done got mad, man. That's why I'm about to get up off here, bro. Because y'all always sitting up here judging people for making they certain comments. Yeah, it might not be right to say, but they said it. Know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have tough skin because your grandmother do. Now, I'm out.